Hi, Melinda here with Get Off My Lawn, Please. Today, we're going to talk about Facebook and Facebook scammers. Stay tuned. Hi, Melinda here with Get Off My Lawn, Please. Please subscribe to my channel, watch my videos, like my videos, share my videos, comment below, and click the little notification bell. It's free. Would appreciate it. Today, we're going to talk about Facebook and Facebook scammers. Now, I do have a presence on Facebook. I'm not on there as much as I was in the past. I have found that my life is much more harmonious without it. Um, I'm sick of the keyboard warriors, and they're pretty prevalent on there. Just because you don't agree with them or they don't agree with you, they're going to burn you down. I don't need that in my life. No one needs that in their life. As I said before, and I've talked about this before, people apparently forget that there are people on the other side of the keyboard, and they don't care if they hurt someone or what they do. But it doesn't have to be a part of your life. But I still am, I haven't disabled my account simply because I manage a couple groups, and then I'm in touch with people that I've known for a long time. I found them on Facebook again, and I don't want to lose that. I like that contact. And then there are a couple of other causes and stuff that are important. Uh, and actually, we'll have some of that on here later. But, <clears throat> excuse me. You know, in a previous video, I did mention that someone I know was scammed. And that scammer picked them up on Facebook. So, if you have a loved one and they're telling you something, pay attention. Or if someone you know tells you something, pay attention. Maybe you need to get an in people together and do an intervention. Um, that didn't happen with the person that I know. And I think maybe that could have possibly made a difference. I tried to help as an individual. It didn't work. And now, um, with, you know, there are problems because the fallout of what happened. And it destroyed relationships. I can't trust that person anymore. I honestly can't. Anyway, so last night I received a friend request for some dude. I don't know this dude. We have no common friends. When you look at the page, the, you know, you look at their main Facebook page, it talks about the about, you know, where they're from, et cetera, et cetera. It looked funny. And then, you know, also, honestly, I don't need some random dude to be my friend. You know, Isn't, we're not going there. The snake comes through the woman and that's, that's not happening here. But anyway, so I showed my husband and I was curious because at this point, I can't stand scammers. So he took the photo and he looked on like there's something called, I think called Catfish Social. And this picture is showing up in various places, apparently. So I think it's a scam. So I actually didn't do anything last night because I wanted to make a video about this. So this morning... I'll, I'll put the screenshots up here of the page and everything. And basically what I did was I reported it to Facebook as a fake page. And then I blocked it. Bye-bye, scammer. And um, last week, one did slip through. It was a lady, an older lady. I'm not young, but she was older. So I thought, okay, you know. And typically, I'm very careful with Facebook requests simply because I don't allow my husband's fans, you know, he's an author, I don't allow his fans on our on our on my Facebook page because it's a lot about what our family does, or it was in the past. Like I said, I haven't been posting much now. Um, and I don't think any fans need to know about our day-to-day -day life. You know, if it's a friend, and we talk about we went fishing this weekend and we got pictures of my daughter Maribeth and whatever, you know, she's older now too, so that's fine. But... I don't want it all over the place. So anyway, there's that. But um, I'll include all the pictures so you can see. You know, and if you run across one, you know, get rid of them off of Facebook. But this lady, anyway, back to the story. So this lady, I accept her friend request. Next day it starts. Hey, did you hear about PCH? They can give you money and grants and etc. I was like, what is PCH? I didn't put two and two together. She comes back, Publishers Clearing House. I was like, uh, scam. They sell magazines, and they have that sweepstakes to sell magazines. That's it. 
They don't give money and grants other than that. So I was like, you're a scammer, you're gone. But I didn't say it that nicely. I know, I, you know, I'm on here saying, you know, spread love and kindness. And I truly mean that. But scammers are a sore topic for me right now. You know, don't even go there. Because you're going to hear something back not so nice. But anyway, <clears throat> I hope this at least helps someone. You know, err on the side of caution. That's all I have to say. Do not let someone get in your mind, convince you you need to do all this stuff, and you give them all of your money. Because they're not going to care if you're broken, homeless, and have no food. All they want is your money. So all of you take care. Be careful. Spread love and kindness, but not to scammers. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thank you.